Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant, CCI12933 here, and in today's CCNA and CCNP route training video, those of you not even working on these certifications will enjoy this video. I call it the mystery of the EIGRP AD5. And it sounds like a Scooby-Doo title gone wrong, I admit, but this is a mystery that's really been plaguing CCNA candidates and upwards for pretty close to a decade, because I remember having this question when I was getting my NA back when you know, Cisco routers were powered by hamsters and dinosaurs, and I never really got a straight answer. I could never find the answer, uh, and then I found it years later working on the IE lab. But going out to some different blogs and by some emails that I get, a lot of people still have this particular question about this administrative distance of 5 in EIGRP. So I definitely want you to see this, not only the theory of it, but once I get done chatting about the theory here for just a minute, hang in there, I'm going to bring up a pod of live Cisco routers and you'll actually see where to find this important information. Now during your CCNA studies, you're introduced to EIGRP, of course, and its administrative distance of 90. And that admin distance, of course, being the level of believability of a route source, whether that be a routing protocol or a static route. Now, there are actually three administrative distances that go with EIGRP. And you see most of these in your NP studies. You might have seen it in your NA. But first off, we have these internal EIGRP routes that have that AD of 90 that you're familiar with. And that's what you get when you introduce a route into EIGRP with the network command. Now, if you introduce that route via route redistribution with the redistribute command, that's called an external EIGRP route, and it's going to have an AD of 170. There's also a third type of route that usually gets mentioned in passing and then they go on to something else, where the summary route has an AD of 5, an EIGRP summary route. So the question is, where can I actually see this administrative distance? And if you've been looking for this before, you're probably nodding your head right now. Let me give you a quick clip here from my CCNP route study guide. We're not going to perform the route summarization here in this video. I've already done that and configured it on the routers, but look for that in a future video. And all I've done here is taken seven subnets and I'm advertising them to router three first and then I summarized them. And it's that summary route that should have an administrative distance of five. And you'll see that in just about any NA or NP book that you look in. But let's take a look here at the live pod and see what we see. Now, routers one and three, I'm actually advertising this over a serial link uh, in this particular lab. But let me just show you what I've done. You know, nothing, no tricks up my sleeve. Got a bunch of loopback addresses here I created to create some extra networks. And here's the summary address command, IP summary address. Then you have to put EIGRP and the autonomous system. Watch that one. And then you actually put the summary route and the summary mask. And notice the number here at the end of the command is 5. I did not enter that manually. That's just the administrative distance of a summary route. And with most IOSs, I won't say all, but with most of them, you'll actually see that number in your config. So that all looks fine. Let's go over to the route that's receiving, or router, that's receiving the summary routes. And I'll use show IP route EIGRP to cut to the chase here. So there's a summary route. It has the same routing table code that we would expect. Let me move that over just a tad here. It's a D. And I see a number 90 here. And that's where the administrative distance of the route can be found in these brackets. The first number is always going to be the AD. So if an EIGRP summary route has an AD of 5, why am I seeing this summary route on a router with an AD of 90? Well, Cisco's own website says that, well, that's what you should expect to see because you'll only see the AD of 5 on the router that's actually performing the summarization. Okay, that's good for me. Let's go over to router one where we're actually performing it and I'll look at the entire routing table. You can see a whole lot of routes I've got in here, mostly those connected loopbacks that I created. Here's that summary route. It's marked with a D for EIGRP, of course, and it even says it's a summary route. Null zero, just an extra little test tip here, that will always uh, be sending it, excuse me, have a destination of null zero. That's the summary route itself. It's a uh, routing loop prevention behavior. 
but I still don't see an administrative distance there. Do you? Do you see anything in the brackets at all? No. So if this round has an AD of 5, where is it? Where can I see that? Well, I dug a little further and I was told if you do a show IP route and then follow it with the network number, then you'll see that information. And I thought, okay, even better. This is a good option to get used to. So show IP route 100 000, that's the actual summary route. And we're going to get some pretty interesting information here. It's going to sit, tell you how many known subnets you have, how many are attached, variable you subnetted with two masks. What it's still not telling you is what the administrative distance of that summary is. So if we are just to believe on faith that uh, this has an AD of 5, but no, we're not going to do that. You know we're going to dig a little further. Well, what you do is when all else fails, we ask for directions, or in this case, we use iOS help. Let's try using that mask, and the mask for that is 255.248.00. As you can see, it's a slash 13. Let's try that. Ta-da! <laughs> that is what I call information mining. That is what I call really having to dig for some information. Uh, seriously, I did not see this until I really got into my advanced studies, and I do see this question asked a lot. I don't know if it'll pop up on your exam, but it's a good idea to know where to finally find this information. Because again, that EIGRP summary route is going to have an AD of 5, and if you want to prove it, you've got to run the show IP route command followed by the summary route and the summary mask. So that is it for this video. Again, plenty of CCNP route information coming up, including a little bit of work with that redistribution command as well. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE12933.